There's no doubt that investing in some clipless pedals is one of the best upgrades that you can make as a road rider. However, if you're using one-sided road-specific pedals like these ones, then clipping in can prove quite difficult, and clipping in quickly can take a bit of practice. So here are a few tips to help you to clip in quicker and maybe even get into your pedal first time, every time. Unlike it has to be said, Matt. Yeah, where is Matt? I see he was with us at the traffic lights. Where he went. I've got a problem with the pedals. Just, uh, I think I've got it in now. Oh, fuck! Now, we can't deny that practice is going to be the key component when it comes to clipping into your pedals faster. However, there are definitely a few technique points we can give you which should help speed the whole process up. Start by working out which foot you'll have clipped in from a standing start and which foot you're going to clip in with. It does make sense to lead with your stronger leg so that when you push down on the pedal you can get away quicker, but it's worth noting that if you ride a lot of track, you're always going to want to lead with your left leg because this pushes you up the track rather than down the track and off it like your right leg might. Hmm. Something I've literally just learned just a couple of minutes ago. Now the benefit of always leading off with exactly the same leg is that effectively you're only going to have to learn this clipping in technique on one side, which should hopefully mean the process only takes half the length of time. Matt's still not here yet, is he? Who would have thought he'd learnt in 46 years? Yeah. Once you've decided which leg is going to be your leading leg, it's time to look at how to actually clip into the pedal. If you use one-sided road pedals, you probably notice that they're very rarely the right side up. So the process that you need to master is to flip the pedal over with your toe, locate the front of your cleat, slide forward, and then press down with your heel to clip in. That might seem relatively complicated, but eventually over time, what you should find is that you can do all that in one fairly seamless motion. Now, if these are your first clip with pedals, what we do suggest is that you practice clipping in a few times, maybe on an indoor trainer. This way, you won't be concentrating on balancing solely on clipping your foot into the pedals. And if you haven't got an indoor trainer, what you can do is find a nice, quiet stretch of road and practice going up and down that, or simply prop yourself up against a wall or fence. Right out loud. Just oh, Jesus. What you're probably going to find initially is that you need to look down at your foot and your pedal in order to make sure that you get your foot in the right place to engage with the pedal. However, it is really important that over time you learn to do this clipping in process whilst being able to look forward and not down at the pedal, so basically doing it by feel. This is going to make things a whole lot safer for you as you're pulling away from junctions. And as one final tip, try putting things in a much bigger gear, one that's harder to roll away from. Now that might not make complete sense when I first say it, but what it will mean is your cranks are moving slower, and therefore your pedal is moving slower, so it should be easier for your foot to find it. Should be, should be yes. easier. You did get in eventually. Once you've practiced the individual elements of clipping in, it's time to put it all together. First up, start with your leading leg in about the two o'clock position, so it's gonna be almost in line with your down tube. The one thing that you shouldn't do is to try and clip into your pedal when it's at the back of the pedal stroke. Wait for the pedal to come up towards the top of the stroke, coming to you, then clip in, press down, get away. Just like that. Well, I reckon there's only one way to finish this video off, Dan. How's that? The clip-in race. Thought you were gonna say that. I am ready. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no! Don't do that again. <laughs> all right, I won't do that again. Now, in all seriousness, being able to clip in quickly can benefit a number of different people. If you're a crit rider, for example, it can be very important in order to get your position at the front. But more importantly even than that is the ability to do it seamlessly out on the open road at junctions, roundabout, traffic lights, etc., without looking down or wobbling all over the place. Now, if you would like some more GCN content, we've got another couple of videos that might be very relevant for you that are watching this video. So just up there is how to unclip like a pro. And just down there is how to fit your new clipless pedals. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. It's absolutely free and all you've got to do is click on the glow, which is there. And if you know someone who, like Matt, struggles with clipping in, share this video. Help them out.